Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Job with Jim. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate at Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my good buddy Jim T. Chung, the walk star. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, hey, a quick question for you here. Yeah. I think Dan would say Seattle's the best coffee, but I, I don't know. I don't know what you're drinking, Jim. I know Jim Felipe and I. We're just curious. What yeah, you know, what's in your got mug today? Starbucks up there, so. He's yeah. probably got something even more special in his coffee cup, but we got to know what's in yours, just out of tradition's sake. I like my coffee the way I like my women, cold and bitter. Um, <laughs> Dan, we've been here all week. Um, love we have a resident attorney, and uh, he he's not cheap. So here's your chance to ask an attorney question that you might not have been able to ask uh, if you weren't on the show. Sure. So I'm curious, uh, uh, Jim, if you had a word of advice to give to homeowners to prevent them from getting into a real estate related lawsuit, what would your advice be? Yeah, first and foremost, don't try to do it yourself. You know, yes, you can save money in a listing fee, not paying a real estate agent, um, but you're going to one, you're going to lose money in actual getting exposed to the market. So ultimately, you're not really saving money. Um, the second part of it is um, make sure that you get your, your disclosures done properly. Uh, the number one source of litigation in any kind of uh, real estate sale or, or purchase is going to be involving the disclosures. And this can really come up to bite you, especially when uh, there's some fluctuations in the market. Uh, they may have been okay when the the house was, you know, going up in value. They were probably okay with the fact that there was some deficiency. But as soon as prices start coming down and they want to get out of it, they're going to look for places to to poke their finger in. And usually it's the disclosure. So make sure if you're a home buyer, you, you review those disclosures. But more importantly, if you're a home seller, make sure you're disclosing, 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 and consulting with your real estate agent to make sure it's done right. And if anybody has questions about that whole commission thing, Dan and I could probably talk to you for an hour about how it makes no sense because you don't save a darn dime by cutting the realtor out. We do serve a purpose. So that's our show for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much 